And that was artist Laura Crane speaking earlier to Kesha. From the skies over Afghanistan, Kosovo, and most recently Iraq, the tornado has been the RAF's frontline warplane. Now, after 40 years, the iconic aircraft is being retired. To mark the end of an aviation era, three tornadoes have been making a series of farewell fly pass, and our defense correspondent Jonathan Beale was given exclusive access to one of those flights. Once more to the skies, but not for much longer. There we go, and we are off. The BBC on board one of the last flights of the RAF's tornado. It's been in service for 40 years and is now being replaced by more modern jets. Here we go, this is Cottesmore Airfield coming up. The tornado was originally designed to fight the Cold War and to carry nuclear weapons. But it first went into combat over the desert in 1991. What was your mission? To an attack in Iraqi airfield. Several were lost in the hail of Iraqi anti-aircraft fire. John Nickel among those who lived to tell the tale. The tornado's 45 years of flight. It's near 30 years on operation. I think you can absolutely put it up with the uh, Spitfire in an iconic status on that level. Just a few weeks ago, pilot Wing Commander James Heaps was conducting airstrikes on IS. Now it's a chance to enjoy the tornado's final goodbye back home. It's been an utter privilege. Best job anyone could have. But for his passenger, it's been more of a challenge. I think I'm a land lover. <laughs> Soon there'll be no more rides in one of the RAF's most iconic jets. This is the end of an era. Jonathan Beale, BBC News. Wishing the tornado a happy retirement.